Ancient witnesses attributed the letter to the Hebrews to Paul. Modern scholars tend to be skeptics, even discounting testimony. Hebrews addresses the question of who is Jesus? Is Jesus higher than the angels? Do angels worship him? Is the Son also called God? Did Jesus taste death for everyone? Did a Sabbath-keeping people not find rest? Do we who've believed enter that rest? Is Jesus a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek? Should we eventually move on beyond very basic Christian doctrines to deeper things? Is Jesus the perfect high priest? What does the new covenant place in our hearts? Was the earthly tabernacle a picture of heaven? Was the law a shadow of good things to come? Did the patriarchs and matriarchs have a faith that pleased God before the law? Does the Lord discipline those he loves? Have we come to the city of the living God? How important are love and hospitality in a church? Let's begin. Is Jesus higher than the angels? Do angels worship him? Is the Son called God? Who is his God? Did Jesus lay the foundation of the earth? Is there a huge difference between Jesus and the angels? Let's find out in Hebrews 1. Who is Jesus? Is he the heir of all things? Was he instrumental in creation? God having spoken long ago to the fathers and the prophets, in many portions and in many ways, in these last days, spoke to us in his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. Whose nature is he an exact representation of? Where does he sit? Is he above the angels in stature? And he is the radiance of his glory and the exact representation of his nature and upholds all things by the word of his power. When he'd made purification of sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, to the extent that he's inherited a more excellent name than they. Why is he above the angels? Why is he worshipped? Is he also God along with the Father? Does the author quote the Old Testament extensively throughout this section to prove the divinity of Jesus? For to which of the angels did God ever say, You're my son, today I've become your father. Or again, I'll be his father and he'll be my son. And again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. Does God call the Son God? Is the Father also called his God? And of the angels, he says, Who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? But to the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You've loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Who laid the foundation of the earth? Who will remain forever? He also says to the Son, In the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundation of the earth and made the heavens with your hands. They'll perish, but you remain forever. They'll wear out like old clothing. You'll fold them up like a cloak and discard them like old clothing. But you are always the same. You will live forever. What are the angels? Are they serving spirits? But which of the angels has he told at any time, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies the footstool of your feet? Aren't they all serving spirits? Sent out to do service for the sake of those who'll inherit salvation. 
Is Jesus higher than the angels? Do angels worship him? Is the Son called God? Who is his God? Did Jesus lay the foundation of the earth? Is there a huge difference between Jesus and the angels? You decide. Music